Once more we find ourselves discovering more about this character because of a standalone series dedicated to Hawkeye, seamlessly merging with Endgame in 2021's Black Widow. Like two best friends that we only discover through recollection, and we find more about Clint Barton through his recollections of Natasha, we discover his heartwarming side through his love for his family, and we realise his intuitive, empathetic soft spot for people in pain, like Wanda and her brother. Before we begin our analysis, please sign up to my Patreon to support the show at patreon.com forward slash two takes podcast. Join the journey and be part of the process. I would also like to formally thank Bradley and Oren for their undying support. And with that, back to the episode. We all understand that Barton was an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. introduced to us in Thor, but even then we could tell that Barton was more than just his job. And when his family was introduced in the Age of Ultron, everyone looked confused. Except for Nat. Perhaps the most secretive Avenger, tying with Nat, presents the idea of protection because overall, Clint had his reasons. In his rare moments, we find him become the father figure, the caring friend, and the one that has everyone's backs. This is Two Takes, and this is One Shot, an analysis of the Avenger, Clint Barton. Spoilers are ahead. Perhaps presented like the moody teen in a family photo, Clint is always the one listening to what people have to say, perhaps saying cynical remarks and being part of the bigger plan. Observe and report, keeping a stealth-like position on the target, Clint is literally the guy who has your back. In Avengers Assemble, Clint was on the rooftops using his keen eyesight, marksmanship to observe, report, and maintain boundaries, communicating with the entire team. In Age of Ultron, Clint was working with S.H.I.E.L.D. until its collapse, working with the Avengers to end HYDRA and right some wrongs from within the system. HYDRA and alien technology was used to create Ultron, and whilst fighting off his army of robots, Clint was concentrating on the fight, sure, but he was also trying to save other lives too. By focusing his attention on Petra and Wanda Maximoff, he chose to speak to them not like enemies or even as allies, but as teens. He used his dad voice and even placed some logical thinking and encouragement in his pep talk. He would use reason and empathy to get his point across, making it relatable, explaining that everything is crazy right now, they're on a floating island, there are crazy robots and Clint is battling them with a bow and arrow. It doesn't make sense, but he's going to make it work either way. And he does. Placing himself as a subtle role model and someone who holds his word, he practices what he preaches with an air of professionalism. We see him constantly coming out of retirement to save everyone else, almost rolling his eyes at their mistakes and having to stop what he's doing to clean up the mess. However, I think it goes further than that. I think he feels that he might have helped create part of the mess and he has an obligation or a need to help correct it. And we thought that was the end of it. Until we get to see the part where Clint's family was introduced to the team. And we see a whole different side of him. Or perhaps a side we didn't realise we were seeing the whole time. But we shall get to that. Even when it came to the comparison that Clint has to face towards the others in the team, we're talking literal gods and billionaires. It's Clint's wife, Laura, that expresses that, that the Avengers need him more than they let on. Clint might not have been on everyone's radar as their favourite Avenger, which is wholly expressed in his solo series with Kate about branding, but his literal job is to be a spy, and way of thinking is that of an observant person. He has seen some terrors, perhaps created some, but we shall never know because even now we only have a glimpse of Clint as a person. And for what is worth, what we see, we can tell Clint is talented in his job, but also, like Nat, has his heart open. The classical, cynical type shows the realism in the situation, but would also take a bullet for you at the same time. In reflection, it could be theorised that the people around Clint might make him better, and in turn, like the quiet kid in class of loud people, when he speaks, he speaks the truth, whether or not people want to hear it. In 
In Civil War, Divided, Clint chose Steve Rogers' team because he still felt he owed a debt to Steve Rogers, but most importantly, Wanda through his brother's sacrifice. The Avengers and the audience, learning of Clint's family, could perhaps add that he felt a kid just saved his life, and that death could have been his children. He might save lives, but that doesn't mean he has placed his own life in the equation, which makes him selfless. And in this instance, becoming quite protective of Wanda, helping her subtly grow, Clint could only do what he felt was right. And like the Avengers I've talked about before, he's in the same boat, concentrating on righting wrongs, helping people before himself, because he's a good person, a good guy. But even as a good guy, when Thanos snapped his fingers, half of the universe was taken, and that involved Clint's entire family whilst he was under house arrest. There wasn't even any warning on who was disappearing and who was staying. There was no goodbye, and Clint, within seconds, was left alone for five long years. But this goes further than the Avengers just needing him, because Clint needs his family and friends far more than we realise. When the blip happened, the Avengers were slowly reintroduced to us as the five years progressed on, and for Clint's re-entry, we were not introduced to Hawkeye, but his dark counterpart, Ronan. The word Ronan is an idomatic expression for drifter or wanderer, a samurai without a lord or master, finding their way without belonging to one place. In medieval times, the ronin was depicted as shadows of samurai, masterless and less honourable. In this case, Clint became ronin because he had lost his way of living. His family were like his master, and thus their disappearances created this older ego, so he could avenge the innocents who disappeared by killing the criminals that got to stay. A worthy and noble cause, a grief-stricken justification. From what we know in Clint's solo series, it can be confirmed that Ronan wasn't blindly killing those who posed as criminals wherever he found them. He was an assassin, and was hired to do it. He covered his face, stayed in the shadows, and even to this day, people do not know who Ronan truly was. It's almost as though, metaphorically speaking, Ronan is the embodiment of Clint's pit of despair and grief. Him lashing out, killing those people, although justified, still isn't the right way to grieve. And Clint knows that, hence, when he reveals this to Kate, he's not proud of it, and it still haunts him. A glimmer of hope in the way of Natasha finding him in Tokyo and confiding in their efforts of time travel had Clint going back with the surviving Avengers and volunteering to go through the quantum realm first. Because of not caring for himself at this point, and then, whilst in the alternative dimension, being able to hear his family but could not see him, perhaps motivated him to help their cause. And it did. Once Bruce snapped his fingers and made everyone come back after five years of absence, the first person to show they were back was Clint's wife calling him. And I think that was a beautiful moment. For those who have left, they did not notice a difference, but for Clint, a wave of emotions could be seen on his face as he answered the call. But we're forgetting someone. As well as his family, his connection to Ronan and the dark parts of his past, there is someone who was there for the entirety of the journey in the MCU. Natasha Romanoff was talked about in another episode with the relationship between her and Clint briefly explored. Before we even met them, and after the journey is over, Clint referred Natasha of how he met her and decided not to take that fateful shot that would have ended her life. He was assigned to kill the Black Widow, but decided not to. Call it a leap of faith or intuition, Clint realised that Nat wanted out, and so he gave her one. And both 2021's Black Widow and Hawkeye the series, their relationship is mentioned many times, reflected on like a distant memory. But we all know that their bond is for life, and when there is a rare moment of it within the MCU, we can understand it a bit better. When Clint was brainwashed and controlled by Loki, Nat had to literally beat him out of it when Loki failed to tell her any clues of of his trickery. When Clint was overwhelmed with grief and was Ronan, she was there to get him and support him as he adjusted, to listen to his story. When he came back from the time travelling through the quantum realm, Nat was the first to run to him to help him up, understanding that it would have been a shock for his physical body, but also his mental state. 
and she refused to let Clint sacrifice himself, knowing he had a family waiting once they got to the Soul Stone. He had something to live for again, regardless of his past mistakes, and she wanted him to know that it was okay to let go. Let go of his grief, his trauma, and to let go of her. Clint Barton is the Avenger that represents many things. One truth lies in the fact that we, the audience, are so wrapped up in the superhero concept that Clint reminds us what it means to be human. His skills are driven by practice and patience. His words are practiced by being a father, and his judgement within a crisis is practiced based on being an agent for many years. He helps keep the team together, with his family representing everything everyone is trying to protect presenting the everyman family that many heroes strive for, but don't get to see or come home to. And even though Clint strives for the normalcy that many heroes do not get, he shows us it is achievable. He shows balance, until the balance is tipped. Clint, although is the everyman hero, through work and determination, in my mind, he is the Avenger that also represents the overwhelming first-hand grief and loss the most, through not being able to save the lives around him like Petro and Natasha. He shows us that even with power, not by a serum, being a god or being tech savvy, but true earned power and strength, it sometimes cannot be enough. But I feel that showing this Avenger in all of his colours shows us that being human is not about being perfect. And that makes him the most relatable. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed what was said, then please support the show from my Patreon. And if you want to know what's happening next, follow my Instagram. To know my day-to-day thoughts, follow my Twitter. And if you want to read what was said instead, then follow my blog, linked elsewhere. With your support, I can only make this better, so again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>